It's Sunday, so that means it's time for our good sport. We're just a few weeks away from the start of NFL training camps. It's the final stretch where guys get to enjoy being home before the grind of the season begins. Yesterday, I got a chance to catch up with Cincinnati Bengal quarterback A.J. McCarron at his football camp. And earlier this week, sports director Randy Patrick caught up with current Titans fullback Jalston Fowler, who's this week's good sport. It is very hard because every day you got to go out there and compete for your job. This week's good sport knows what it takes to succeed, and his success has led him to the National Football League. I want to say that I'm behind y'all. I'm behind the whole city. I mean, want every organization to do good. Hope y'all come out on top. Tennessee Titans fullback Justin Fowler isn't forgetting his roots. He recently donated $5,000 to the 8 Mile Cowboys and Palmer Williams group. I know where these kids come from. I know what they go through every day. I know what they see every day. And the only thing he is bad, so you want to bring a positive out to, outlook to the community and to let the, let the kids know that it's something better you can do. All right, good job, good job. Fowler is getting ready for his third season with the Titans, and the former Viger and Alabama standout recalls a time in his life that making an impression on a coach set his path to football stardom. Somebody came to my house and like knew the, um, the coach looking for you down in Orange Grove Park, and I was like, for real? I remember running all the way from home, all the way up to the Boys and Girls Club in Orange Grove. Um, I just wanted to, you know what I'm saying, just play football all my life after that moment. When you're a young kid, you don't really know what success is, and you really don't know what it takes to be successful. But if you have that example, and what Mr. Fowler is doing is coming back and being that example. And the kids love the Cowboys, but after Jostin's visit, they'll be pulling for Tennessee, too. Jostin told us that he's taking nothing for granted this season as he heads to camp ready to go to work. He's ready to get back out there and start playing and show these coaches what I can do and keep proving to my teammates that I can be a worthy um, player and then I got their back. With this week's Good Sport, Randy Patrick, News 5. And if you know of anybody that goes above and beyond in the community, let us know. Email us at goodsport at wkrg.com. I love seeing.